Hey everyone, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to my channel. This is day four of my 25 days of comic book reviews. This one will be about Batman, but not the Batman you know. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Also, please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this content. If you don't, then give it a thumbs down. It's your choice. If you enjoy this content, please share it around. And, you know, commenting does help greatly. Okay, let's get on to the, to the stories. This comes from DC's Nuclear Winter Special. Ten Cataclysmic Tales. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, not, it doesn't really grab your attention, does it? And, of course, this is a $9.99 price point. But, you know, I want to say something before I start. A year ago, or maybe two years ago, I can't remember. When this came out, I read it, and there was only, I only, only thought two stories were good. Yeah, you know, I read this again recently, and now I'm a I'm of the opinion that there's more than two good stories in here. I can't say that about each one, but I can say each one has its own merit. All right, the first one is called uh, this. This one is technically. Hosted by uh, Rip Hunter. Now, if you've watched Legends of Tomorrow, the TV show, then you know who he is. He's a time traveler. This is Silicon Valley, sometime in the mid-21st century. Good going, Rip. That's the last time I leave home without charging the time sphere. Fresh meat! Now, look at this. Oogle. What do you think that is? <laughs> Prepare to synergize. Oh, craps. Rip Hunter, Time Master, and the Nuclear Winter Special, written by Mark Russell. Now, th th this is funny. Uh, this dude says, This one wears not the mark of the Oogle. Therefore, he may be eaten. So it is written. Where? In terms and conditions. Oh my gosh. So, anyways, I have, that's the best part of, you know, this two-page intro. They don't eat him because he starts to tell them stories. And this is the first one, a Batman story. And it's but it's mostly Batman talking to himself. Now, at first, you might think this is Bruce Wayne. In Gotham's so cold these days. Ever since the blast, and the ones that followed, well, there was no blast in... Bruce Wayne's history until the sky was a light with heart that wasn't part of Bruce Wayne's history the dead never knew it, it was my fault and then he says uh, a devil offered him a deal they didn't know the child in the alley plunging a sword into his father's heart or the choice he faced or the deal he was offered your soul said the devil for the power to assume your father's mantle and endure for all time the stupid boy took the deal the devil kept his word so that's definitely not Bruce Wayne's backstory
and he goes on to tell about uh, his that his father got him a katana for his twelfth birthday, but that it was redundant because he already owned so many blades that he brought to Gotham. Okay. So he was. So this Batman wasn't born in Gotham. Now, first, in first impression is you know the Batman who won't shut up just because of that stupid grin and that figure. But it's not. It's Ra's al Ghul. And notice he says grandson. He never called Batman by the word grandson. Use the word son. And Batman says, Grandfather. This is, in fact, Damian Wayne. So, in this type of story, which is considered Elseworld, Damian Wayne apparently kills his father, Bruce Wayne, and becomes Batman. So they exchange blows I have to say that the artwork is much better that is it's I can actually see what's going on it's not not so dark that that I can't see it and strangely enough Damien says Merry Christmas grandfather I I didn't bring you a gift of course you did he says, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, except this, uh, you know, ice-filled land, which was, which was Gotham. If you see here, it says, Batman 666 in warmth. Uh, writers, Colin Jackson and Kelly Lansing, never heard of either of them. But, you know, it wasn't a real gripping story, but it was cute, you could say. <laughs> I seriously hope that Damian Wayne does not grow up to be Batman. So, anyway, that's what, uh, that's what I thought. You know, it was okay, but you know, what, it wasn't great. I mean, this cover tries to sell the buyer that these are great stories. But the first story, well, in, in an anthology, you need the first story to really grab you, to hook, to pull you in so you want to read the rest of them. I'm going to tell you all right now. It's not very likely that it will happen if you purchase this. I mean, literally, it's nuclear. See the, the, the symbol here? DC's Nuclear Winter Special. They are doing all they can to avoid using the word Christmas. Ugh. Yeah. Anyways, that's all for this review. If you're new here, please do subscribe, click that notification bell, please give me a thumbs up, and comment on this video and uh, share it uh, on this review and share it around. I would greatly appreciate that. Till next time, true readers, may all your news be good news.